Join us for an ultimate must-visit ramen house in Baguio City. Agara Ramen is undoubtedly the best homegrown ramen bar in Baguio City. It is conveniently located along North Drive, a stone throw away from SM City Baguio, and has a few parking slots. This 14-seat ramen bar is owned by ramen master Ray Costa and was opened in 2019. It features modern industrial interiors, an open kitchen, and pop art on brick walls. Here, you can expect an out-of-this-world ramen experience with consistently piping hot broth, bouncy firm noodles, blowtorch char shoe, and perfectly gooey soft-boiled shoyu tamago, suitable for the cool Baguio climate. From their menu, we would highly recommend Master Chef Ray's signature ramen, the chuka soba, which is a popular kind of ramen in Tokyo where the soup stock is made from pork, chicken, vegetables, and five different kinds of dried fish, which is so delectable that your taste buds will be seduced to crave for more after your first bowl. We would also recommend their tsukamen, tonkotsu shoyu ramen, gyoza, and karage.
Thank you, Chef. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So I just arrived at the most raved about ramen here in Baguio City. It's called Ramen Agara and their specialty here is the Chuka Soba, which I ordered. So what makes this different from the tonkotsu, pork bone, uh, ramen that you normally find in a lot of ramen houses is the broth here is layered and more subtle. It has uh, pork bone, but as well as chicken, and fish and vegetables. So I'm gonna get my first sip of this drink. Oh wow, that is absolutely delicious. It's not as creamy as a tonkotsu broth, but there's so many layers of flavor with the chicken and the pork bone, the vegetables, and the fish uh, broth isn't so overpowering. This is one gorgeous ramen. And just based on that soup, wow, I, I'm so looking forward to this. And as you saw, they also charred, uh, blowtorch the chashu. So I'm gonna take a bite out of this chashu now. Oh yes. It looks like it's already about to fall apart. Oh, it did. That is ultra tender. I grabbed a little bit of the meaty part, but you see there's also a, a fat part there. I can tell it's already gonna melt in my mouth. So what else is here? Looks like we have banana blossoms, spring onion, noodles, and there was so many ingredients in this. Now I'm gonna try their noodles, which they also make in-house. Oh, that was cooked perfectly. As you can see, they were timing the noodles. Wow, that is so bouncy and uh, that's the perfect texture. A little bit firm, slurpingly good. Mm. Now with the broth. Oh my god. This is easily one of the best ramens I've ever had in the Philippines. Oh, I'm definitely, next time I'm back in Baguio, I'm definitely coming back to this place. That is exquisite. And this is a homegrown uh, ramen house here in Baguio. So up next is the uh, gyoza. And as you can see, it's crispy on one side, the way it's supposed to be and quite a lot of uh, uh, pork and spring onions on the inside. Ooh, there's also some chili oil, sorry. I have to add some chili oil. So they have the full complement of uh, ramen condiments over here, black pepper, chili powder, uh, white sesame seeds, garlic, and uh, chili oil. I'm gonna add this later on, but I just wanted to try my ramen on its own first, but they, they have the full complement of sauces. I love. Uh, Ryu, which is spicy chili oil, uh, sesame oil. Ooh, it's not coming out. I want some in my... Oh, there it is. I want some in my gyoza sauce. Oh, yeah. Okay. Come to Papa.
Wow, that is an amazing gyoza wrapper. They definitely used rice flour for that, and they pan fried that perfectly, and steamed on one side, of course. That is amazing. You know, gyoza is the perfect complement to a hot bowl of ramen, and they have done an excellent job with their gyozas. You definitely have to order the five pieces over here. Mm. I never would have thought that one of the best ramen houses in the Philippines would be in Baguio, but I would rate this five stars, maybe even six stars. This is an absolute treat for any noodle head. Oh. Unbelievable. I always like to order tsukimen over ramen, sometimes maybe, because I like to feel the flavor of the deep sauce more than the broth of the soup. And I want to say here, look at the most pretty simple and plain, but it's so cooked properly. The texture is how it's supposed to be. I think I never had the, the amazing how it's supposed to be texture ever in my life. Because when I was in Japan, I never even knew about it. And I think this guy brought Japan here to Mbagyo and he even speaks like all that <laughs> in Japanese. Seems like he just came from there. So literally, he, piece, he brought piece of Japan here to Mbagyo. So how authentic the noodles? For sure. It's a very good quality, it's not mushy at all. It's totally bouncy. A little bit body and the flavor of the sauce is hmm, unbeatable. Maybe I don't know how to eat Superman. I still believe if we have humans that came from Mars, we just eating how we feel we could eat. I'm just tipping it and eating, and sometimes just tipping some more sauce. And I can say the most flavorful dipping sauce for Tsukamen ever I tried in my life. One of the two. I'm back at Agara Ramen. This time I ordered the Tonkotsu Shoyu Ramen. So the pork bone based broth. Thank you. So I'm gonna start off with the soup. Ooh, we got some black garlic oil on the side. Another gorgeous bowl of ramen over here. Oh, I can't wait to try this broth now. Wow, that is so creamy. Perfect consistency. Absolutely delicious. Bamboo shoots on top. Uh, look at this chashu, which was also blow-torched. You know how that is from uh, the chuka soba. And I even asked for the aji tamago. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. That is what you call a proper aji tamago. We don't have one of that right now. Wait. I am going to use... Ooh, that. Oh yeah. Mm. Wow. That was just perfect. The broth is awesome. I want to try noodles now. Look at the steam come off of that. Perfect temperature here in Baguio. I do not. Mm. That is perfectly cooked noodles once again. And I love the bamboo shoots over here. Menma. Wow. The tonkotsu broth over here is fantastic. You can see the tonkotsu ramen here is fabulous. 
but what is tonkotsu without their chashu? And here it's pork belly, low torch. That is my second bowl of ramen here. And the chashu melts in mouth, just like the last time. So consistency is there. Oh, just wonderful. Guys, I'm telling you, that's why I keep coming back for more, because it's just so damn good here. Can't wait to come back again. Cheers, guys. Now I'm with Ray Costa, who's the owner and ramen master chef of Ramen Agara. Ray, thanks for uh, having me over here. Your ramen was absolutely fantastic. Could you tell me a little bit about your concept here? Okay. The concept, actually the name first, uh, it was coined from an Ilocano word, Agravaman. It means ambitious, so that's who we are. We really are ambitious in a right way, in a nice way. So basically, uh, I came from Japan. Um, I'm a uh, ramen lover, actually. So it's a little always, para kumakasin. So from there, uh, so we decided to put up a ramen shop here in Baguio City. Um, Chuka Soba are one of our flagship and skimmen. Chuka Soba, based on knowledge, ko, um, kami lang ang mayroon sa Philippines. It's a combination of corn, chicken, vegetable, and fish. So it's a solid taste uh, rather than a straightforward. That's great, yeah. That was uh, a really amazing dish. I think it's not very not common in the Philippines at the moment, but it was absolutely delicious. Uh, what else could you recommend for your for the guests that come over? Okay, um, second best seller, second best seller is Tantan. Men to mahili sila sa spicy. Um, my texture siya, aside from being creamy, nutty, and of course, spicy one. So, if, you, if you're, you like spicy food, you go for Tantan. But if you're looking for creamy, the 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 yung 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 normal marami na yan na natitik mani kasi sa Philippines, they should go for tonkotsu shoyu. And what is your favorite ramen? For me, okay, my my top one favorite is kimen. Um, kung adventurous yung taste buds niyo, strong kasi strong yung flavor ng kimen. Um, uh, compared to normal ramen, so it's a dipping ramen. Uh. Maraming klase rin ng, ng skimen na no? mayroon tayong uh, chintan and paitan. It means pag chintan, medyo clear yung broth, so lighter than paitan. Paitan is yung medyo mas mataas ang viscosity level. Skimen and chuka soba. Yun yun yung sa akin, personal uh, preference. How long have you been living in Japan? Actually, I, I, uh, I have been there twice. Uh, so almost six months, pero nanay ko kasi nandun pa rin ng girl and I have a brother, a Japanese brother there. Yeah. So oh, wow. continue nice. use yung, 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 yung knowledge ko about your Japanese. Do you speak so, Nihongo? Yeah, skushi dahi na. Ito, ino wa, chokto wa sa nagdata na. Pero, ubay ti mas kito, man. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Hi, I can go by mas. I highly recommend this uh, Japanese ramen house in Baguio if you're in town. The food is just fabulous from all the dishes I've tried. I've even gotten some takeout because I'm sure Oksana and uh, Alexandra would love to try the food over here. And I might even be coming back before I leave Baguio. So guys, thanks for watching again. Uh, please stay safe and we'll see you in the next episode.